for this. You know, he, he got very popular being a part of a group, but if he comes out with a win tonight, it's going to be a great chance for him to launch his own brand. They could really do it. I can just tell you, off this walkout, though, you know, I'm the professional fighter. I'm watching this walkout. He looks a little too stoic for me, right? Okay. There's cool, calm, and collected, and then there's stoic to where he looks like, like that. Oh, my gosh, what am I getting myself into? Representing Team YouTube, DDG. I think he was asking the DJ to play a different song. It looks like kind of like he's he's all mic'd up to rap himself here. Right, I believe this is his own song. This is what he needed to come out to. That's why he went back and went to the DJ. say that I've never seen a fighter change his entrance music while he was doing his entrance. That's next level kind of stuff. That is a lot of pressure, right? <laughs> Not only are you performing right this very second during your walkout, but you're about to perform in a boxing ring and fight somebody. So uh, good for him. He really rose to the occasion, I guess. Well, I got really nervous right out at the first. I was like, wait a minute. Is he giving up? Is he going back to the locker room? What is happening? All right, let's take a look. Finally, at the tail of the tape between these two from YouTube and TikTok, DDG, Nate Wyatt, Paige, what do you see? I, you know what I see? This is virtually identical. We got a slight age advantage, slight reach advantage to Nate, uh, slight height advantage, but really not enough to make a huge difference. Going into this, virtually identical, it's who trained it and who is more well prepared. Nate Wyatt has certainly mastered the focused look when it comes to graphics. It's time for the announcements. Let's send it up to Foos. In the blue corner, representing TikTok, weighing in at 163 pounds, boasting over 5.6 million TikTok followers, born in Cincinnati, Ohio, now in Los Angeles, California, the soul of the hype house, Nate Wyatt! And representing YouTube in the red corner, weighing in at 162 pounds with nearly 2 million subscribers. A Michigan native now living in Los Angeles. He's a lover and a fighter. DDG! Room, bring my commands at all time, protect yourself at all time. If you have a knockdown, go to the corner I tell you to go to, wait for me to call you out. Any questions? Touch them up, let's go. <laughs> okay, for the second time tonight, there will be no glove touching. DDG, much like FaZe Jarvis, looks like he is all business. Absolutely. It's going to be interesting to see if YouTube can go for and out. They meet in the middle, the middle of the ring extremely quickly. Both of them seem like they're putting the pressure on. Oh, big right hands by DDG. DDG closing the distance. I would like him to keep a little bit in his range, not so close, and he can capitalize and throw the most power. And Paige, 
what do you see from their stances and their initial pressure? Their initial pressure. I like the stance. They both have a low stance. They got their head low. They're both getting a little overextended, right? Rushing forward when they're throwing punches. If they keep their feet underneath them, they're going to have more power. And that's when we're going to see the knockouts. Oh, big right hand by DDG. One thing these fighters need to stop doing is turning their backs. We've seen that. Number three tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to see that. Oh, oh, good combination. Then over the top. DDG, I do like his head movement. I like his foot movement. He does off the gate in the first minute look like the more experienced fighter. And DDG very fast on his feet. It's amazing how fast he is. He's putting that jab out there really quickly, right? And that jab, a lot of fights you can win with a fast jab, constantly sticking it out there, having something in your opponent's face so they can't hit you. Well, he's also avoiding these punches, too. He's backing up, getting out of the way of danger real fast. I mean, it's, it's very impressive. It's great. Like you said, he's getting out of the way, or he has his guard up, and he's completely protecting himself when he is in the pocket. Oh, DDG launching himself into Nate Wyatt. This the second of our five featured bouts here on pay-per-view at Social Gloves Battle of the Platforms. Thanks for hanging out with us on a very muggy Saturday night in Miami. Oh! Beautiful overhand wow. right there. Oh my God. I think we got a little complaint out of Wyatt. He thought that was the back of the head. But if you're turning yourself, that doesn't count as a, a strike against your opponent. Whoa, whoa. He's turned into it, right? That's a great point. If we could get a replay of that, I want to know. That's right. That's the if you turn your back and someone hits you to the back of your the head, that is your own fault. I got it, my guy. I got the water. I know. Okay. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. You're good. Okay. Look. Everything he did in this round, that's all he's gonna do. He's scared now. You come with some good right hands. Okay. You double the jab, and now instead of going to the head, go to the body. Okay. Go to the body. Okay. Okay. Work a little bit, work a little bit, right? Yeah, spin out. Keep on throwing that. All you're gonna do, right hook, okay? Do not let him take you there. You spin out, right? And throw that jab. Throw it. He can't handle it. He comes in, sit on it, and throw that right knee to his stomach, okay? Do not let him take you in the room, okay? All right? Okay, so we heard from both he did. He did. corners. He did. He They're both very right confident okay. in their guy. Go, baby. Absolutely, absolutely. That was a close hey, round for me, right? It, it did seem like DDG right looks hey, like the little more little experienced okay. fighter. He, he did get a, a better shot towards the end of the round, but it was relatively close. All right, here we go. Round number two again. All of these fights tonight scheduled for five rounds, two minute rounds. And he gets all right, on the ropes we, again. Fusi is our very, very unofficial scorekeeper tonight. What do you got after the first round, Fusi? Thanks for the second, Barry. Uh, <laughs> I have him 10-9 DDG. I see him landing Ooh. the cleaner punches, Ooh. and I can see this being stopped early. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with Fusi there. It looks oh. Like oh! Big overhand right. Nate Wyatt seems to be leaving Paige his head at a level that's easy to connect. He yeah. is, and that's the thing. You don't want to have your head in one spot. It's not about where it is, it's about moving it out of one spot. And he's he's coming in and he's freezing in front of his opponent. And that's where the experience comes in. He doesn't quite have that head movement experience to know. It's harder to hit a moving target. Nate Go Wyatt ahead. just covering up. And if you're going to do that repeatedly, King, you're just going to get hit over and over and over again. I know he has the height advantage. Uh, you know, why get down to that level? I mean, I'm not an expert, but I wouldn't. They're tying up quite a bit here, and it is a good break, right? In boxing, if you're getting lit up, grabbing onto your opponent, you get that one second to where the fight gets to reset. You can kind of see on our screen that it has started to rain lightly here in Miami, and the ring is covered, and I doubt that many of the almost 15,000 fans here tonight don't welcome this rain just a little bit. No, it is hot here, and the rain is welcome to cool us off. It's so hot. It's pouring outside, and they're pouring punches in this ring. Amazing. Oh, and DDG just winding up, dropping the hammer. Good, good 
showing out of both of these guys. Still, I have DDG a little bit more with the experience. He's putting punches in bunches, like I like to say. Now That's me, when you land. Now, let me ask you, do you guys think this goes the distance? I don't. No, no. I think it's going to be over either here in the third round or the fourth. I, you know what? If they can keep their energy up, it could keep going, you know? I feel like both of these guys, I'm seeing some heavy breathing out of both corners. You can see our VIP seating here at ringside. Just like in Miami, complete with bottle service. <laughs> complete with bottle service. The stars are out tonight. This is a packed house, right? This is absolutely amazing. And coming from the sports world, I was so curious. I was like, all right, do these guys have fans or do they have followers? No, these guys have fans, and they showed up tonight. When Austin McBroom told me the amount of people that were going to be in attendance, I was blown away, and they're all here. Yeah, there's still some rules. You know, you can't pack every seat, but you can bring a lot, and they're all here. Almost 15,000 fans have shown up here at Hard Rock Stadium, the site of the Super Bowl two years ago, and the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes knocked off the San Francisco 49ers right here on this very field. And now, DDG! Wyatt was sticking his double jab out there pretty well, but he just wasn't able to get his head out of the way after he throws his punches. Right, that head position. He's got to get out of in front of the punches. The first 88 count of this fight. And Nate White has, White has got to start moving around, guys. It just, he's, he's becoming a very stationary target. DDG is not letting him rest, just rushing, 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 even after the last clinch, getting one in. Oh! And DDG continues to kind of just set up that big right hand page and launch from halfway across the ring. Yes, he is. And then DDG, he's, you know, he, he keeps getting in these tie-ups, and that's because Wyatt keeps ducking his head extremely low, right? That's not a problem with DDG locking up his head. That's a problem with Wyatt ducking his head too low. 45 seconds to go here in round number three. So far, it has been all Keane and DDG. Yeah, now you can see the ref getting frustrated. Like, come on, guys, let's, let's, there it is. They're both exhausted. They're throwing their one punch, getting tired, locking up. It is amazing how quickly the trash talking stops when you're gassed to the gills. Right. It does. And then you see them kind of closing their eyes on these punches and throwing with full authority, <laughs> hoping that they land. But you got to keep those eyes open. Punches and bunches, set your shots up if you want to finish tonight. All right, it looks like we will see a fourth round here between Nate Wyatt of TikTok and DDP, DDG, excuse me. I was channeling my inner pro wrestling. I said DDP. <laughs> Diamond Dallas Page. There's been a sighting in Miami. It's really raining now. I mean, we're getting hit and we're underneath a tent. Does that make sense? You know what? The great thing about Florida is if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. <laughs> I've been told that. I've lived here for a year, and I think I've had 100 people tell me that. And it's absolutely true. It should only be around for a few minutes, and we should be dry. Here's some of the action from that third round. That Ooh. Amazing uppercut, uppercut leading into a lead hook. There's a lot of closing of the eyes yeah. tonight. Yes. <laughs> you know, I love watching these replays on these punches. The Jarvis one was amazing. But that uppercut right there, that looked beautiful. Paige Van Zandt, Keemstar, Coach Foos, Charlemagne the God, our entire Social Gloves team. The fighters tonight from the start with Kale Siraj and Ryan Johnston to now, they've really given it all to us. Boozy, what's your scorecard looking like? You know what? I got this going all the way to DDG right now through all three rounds. I don't think Nate's given him a lot of opportunity to showcase what he got. There's a lot of locking up and hugging going on. And I'm, I'm surprised this last one. Ooh. And now DDG. Once again, getting two, then three shots in on Nate Wyatt. Oh. Yeah, Wyatt doesn't like this, right? That's why he keeps ducking his head really low. We're seeing these tie-ups. DDG needs to be moving backwards a little more, not so much forward. If he could move backwards and lure Wyatt to him, he would be able to get out of these tie-up positions that he keeps getting caught in. 
Well, we didn't think this was going to go to the distance, and, uh, you know, we're halfway through the fourth. Maybe it will. And it's this very pro YouTube crowd page screaming for DDG. They are, and you know, it's looking more and more like these guys are getting tired, getting exhausted. And it's, you know what, if they have the will to win, we could still see a finish. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they keep it up and they can keep their energy high and give us an exciting fifth round. Big breaths from both. And finally, Nate Wyatt is able to throw one, but then he just covers up. Yeah, and that's the reason I feel like they have these two-minute rounds for these guys. If you can train as hard as you can, it's good for them to have these two-minute rounds. Could you imagine three minutes of action? Uh, Paige, the answer would be no. No, I cannot. Yes. <laughs> you saw Nate White kind of glance up at the clock. Right. That is a telltale side came in the fighting world. Is it over yet? Yeah, he's trying to survive, obviously. I think he knows kind of how this is playing out. A lot of defense, not much offense. Yeah, and that's the thing. I really do. I, I want DDG to start going backwards, lead Wyatt to him, and he's going to be able to connect a little bit better and not have those tie-ups. Impressive round, though. And very, a lot of chatter between uh, Nate and the, the ref after every round. I, I wonder what his concern is. That is interesting. Yeah, you know, in between yeah. rounds, I don't think I've ever talked to the ref. In a fight, hey, the ref, I don't even See, notice that they're not, there. So I'm very, that's a good you. observation. Hey, I don't know right. what in the world he you could be saying. Left hook. If you use left hook, you catch him because he's repping his right every time. You so you hook, can you see the there in the corner you, you one of the great hook. trainers okay. in boxing. Legendary. Huh? So Joel Diaz, Timothy Bradley, recover, recover. Hoya, I mean, all hey, take a deep breath. Deep breath. Vargas, I mean, you name it, this man right here has trained them. You know, it's amazing to see these YouTubers, like, they're not just grabbing some coach or whatever. They're trying to find the absolute best. You know, they got the fame, they got the money. They don't do this lightly. They do this serious. Well, these coaches do not have to coach them, right? When I walk into a boxing gym, I have to prove to the coach that I, that I deserve to be there. These guys guys did something to prove to these coaches that they deserve to be there. They they showed that they're real fighters and they were invested in their career. These, fight, a, these coaches don't have to take on anybody. That's a very, very good point. All right, here we go. Our know, fifth and talks. final round. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, that's a great point, too. The check clears. All right, does Let's Nate Wyatt have me. anything left for DDG? Oh, Beautiful overhand right. That Wyatt. is... Wyatt looks a little uncomfortable with that shot. Ducking his head, he continues to turn his... He continue, Wyatt continues to turn his head away, and that's why he keeps getting caught with these back-of-the-head shots, as he's saying. <laughs> the referee is pretty much had it at this yes, point. Yes, he has had it. Look at him. Stop tying up, guys. <laughs> and that's just sure exhaustion, right? At this point, they got enough energy to throw one power punch, and then they got to hold on for dear life. The referee kind of reminds me of a a nightclub security guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He's just like, all right, you two. Absolutely. Stop. <laughs> Where do we get these big refs, right? We got him, we got Big John McCarthy. These refs look like fighters. But you absolutely need someone big like this in this situation. These are not experienced, uh, you know, boxers. They haven't had boxing matches before. You know, they're not going to listen. You need someone that will make them listen. <laughs> Inside of 40... Seconds now, round number five. Each fight tonight, scheduled for five rounds, two minute rounds. Still to come tonight, our main event, Austin McBroom of YouTube and Bryce Hall of TikTok. Well, you gotta hand it to Nate. I mean, I didn't think he was gonna survive this. He absolutely did, and that's the thing, is he took a lot of punches. A lot more damage than I think he anticipated, but he sucked it up and he gutted through this fight. And at this point, these two are just trying to get to the finish line. And the finish line looks like a DDG resounding victory. The crowd is already cheering victory. He got a few more punches to seal the deal at the end of that fight. We got the chains in full effect. Well, Nate Wyatt, he has the debonair 
movie star good looks for Absolutely. a TikToker. Well, I mean, not right now. If you see, there's a lot of swelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I can Normally. talk about that. I have been cut open, bloodied up in fights, broken hands, cut faces. It all heals. Yeah. Oh, it does. <laughs> but not all of us look like you, Paige. So it's not as important for us to uh, get it back to normal. Nate Wyatt is probably very happy that this thing is over. What do you think about this experience, right? Now that you're watching it as a YouTube sensation, does this inspire you to do something else? Do we see, do, you're one of these guys, do we see you in a boxing match? I just love being a commentator. I love being able to sit here and call it. And it's been a pleasure to work with you guys. I mean, you guys are the pros here teaching me what's up with all this. And it's just been so much fun to be this close to the ring. I mean, normally I get the front row seats, you know, they hook me up, but I haven't been this close. There's yeah. nothing better than being right here at ringside. The commentator Absolutely. booth is very nice. Yes, because guess what? You never lose a fight. <laughs> you never lose sitting here. That's right. All right. Some of the so the judges are still figuring out. Now we have a decision. Let's send it up to the ring. Here are the judges' results for this sanctioned exhibition match. Lorenzo Hunt scored the contest 50 to 44. Coach Chuck scored the contest 49 to 45. And Keon Wilson scored the contest. 50 to 43 with the combined scores putting the bout in favor of D D G. Well, it's a very YouTube pro crowd here in Miami, clearly. I mean, and on a couple of those scorecards, Kate, uh, the judges thought he had dominated two or three rounds with those scores. Wow, unbelievable. I mean, it's shocking to see YouTube just win every single one of these matches. You know, four four wins for YouTube right now. This one, I, I, I didn't know anywhere where it was going to go. Now we clearly know DDG is pretty good in that rank. Let's take a look at the final punch stats. Presented by Stat Hero, survived the game, and clearly, came. this is a DDG domination. Unbelievable. Power punches, 35 to 7 total punches. Total punches, only 40. So only five of them were not power punches. Unreal. So DDG is the victor. He's getting all of his ice on. He's getting all of his bling on. And momentarily, he will speak with Paige. Paige, go ahead. All right, DDG, you are getting your hand rocks off you still. Congratulations on amazing performance. Did you think it was going to go the full fight? Honestly, I left the strip club last night. I wasn't even training for this fight. Hey, man. Jay, where my blunt at? I've honestly felt like, to be not to be funny or nothing, but I felt like he wasn't going to last that whole time. It's a lot of respect to Nate. You looked amazing. Honestly, coming from a professional fighter, you looked like you have been in the gym, you've been training. Can we talk about your coaching staff? You have some amazing coaches in your corner. Did you know, have confidence with them being there with you? Yeah, Joe Diaz, he helped me a lot, sharpened up my skills. Um, I'm excited for the win. What's next for you, all right? Did you, you looked like you had a lot of fun. Can we see you in another fight? Can we see you in an in a amateur boxing match, a bare knuckle boxing match? What's next? Honestly, this is like my finale on YouTube. I'm quitting YouTube for good. So this is my last little finale this fight. One and done. Unless, 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 the only way I'll step in the ring again, if it's with a rapper. A rapper? Do you have any rapper in mind? I ain't got nobody in mind, but anybody that want to step to the plate, we get the bag right, get the promotion see, right. Wiz Khalifa's been training real hard. He's a fighter that I could see you match up against. I'm with whatever, man. That's it. All right, congratulations, amazing performance. Thank you. Shout out to all the fans, man. Y'all make some noise. Social gloves.